Welcome everyone. I continue my tour of the world one bottle at a time. This is how I like to travel, basically. I can get an experience of any country by just sitting in my office here. Comfy, surrounded, perfect temperature in soft clothes and tour the world through the beverages and snacks. Highly recommended, no high costs, uh, no trampling around in trains next to goons and freaks and disease zombies. Right here, safe and secure. And I can snack on what I want. So here we have an interesting German beer. Um, Hackenberg Pills. Now, one thing nice about this beer is that it's a Pills beer, which seems to be the best. Lagers always tend to be lighter and bitter. Uh, now, they're all kind of the same stuff, but there are slight differences that make it better. So I've got some good uh, hopes for this particular um, German beer, which usually means that it is actually um, bitter. But, you know, most beers around the world aren't that great, people, and they all tend to be bitter, weird. Um, the more yellow they are, the bitter they are, and they generally don't taste good. And some beers are just horrible. We've got a couple of those. There will be a Belgian beer coming up, uh, which hopefully I can get through without vomiting. Um, so let's take a look at this little puppy. I'll open it up with my bottle opener hanger, Thor's hammer. And let's take a look at this a little. So this comes from Hackenberg, which is the actual city in Germany, and uh, being as original as the Germans are, they named the beer after the town, like Haribo. Okay, now this claims to have great um, aromic herbs in it. I have a wild boar here, because this is made in more of the wild or places of Germany. A hundred arom uh, hundred percent aromic um Hops are used here. That's a good sign as well. Hops is what give you that nice flavor. Again, it's a Pilsner, which is very similar to all Pilsners are lagers, but all lagers are not Pilsner. Uh, well, that's made through the people who really know how to brew beer, uh, which is uh, the Czech Republic and the Czechoslovakians are really where you get your best beer from. They have the best hops, etc. Hands down. Anybody that knows uh, beer um, knows that. Which ain't many people. You got a Bud Light? Yeah. Daddy drunk that. Your daddy was a retard. Yeah, well, he knew his beer. Okay. So, so and they, they claim that it takes six weeks to brew this beer. Um, who knows? Beer brewing is quick, easy, and low cost, but you won't get it. Uh, but... That passed on, but let's take a look at this. Let's pour this out here and see what this is. And, of course, as we always do, you know, it's always good to, you know, this is a nice big glass, and it's a good thing to have here. You can kind of look at your beer better. Uh, right off the bat, it looks like the, um, it's got a nice amber color, but on the darkish side. Now, that tells you that there's most likely a good amount of hops in there. That means flavor and less bitter. Beers that are bitter are bad. Um, no matter what tells you, it's stupid. Just like burny alcohol, meaning scotches that burn, are not good scotches. I don't care who makes it or where it comes from. And, of course, here's the bottle top. It's got the city's um, logo on there. I can't think of what it is, but these are the Herolithoth. Her 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 there we go. I can't talk to them. But they're actual... Uh, these are the things that you would see on shields and other things. Uh, there's the this city of Hackenberg's actual um, shield. Basically, they're nothing more than old-time logos. And you can see it says pills on there. So let's take a uh, chug of this. and Because uh, you got to give these things time. If you just drink something down or just taste it, you got to wait for the first effect, the middle effect, and then ultimately the long-term or after effect. Or not effect, 
taste. So when you taste something initially, you get this, um, you get this taste. Then there's the middle taste because the taste buds in your mouth are uh, all different. Uh, they absorb things a certain rate. And then of course there's the last. What's the oh, what is the aftertaste to that? And sometimes that can be very profound. I've had a couple of these beers that tasted okay, and then a minute or two later, ooh. So, and as I said, it has that nice, you can see the less foam at the top. This generally means there's less sugar in it. Of course, you're not supposed to put any sugar in, um, in beers in Germany. It's illegal. You will be spanked and murdered and kicked in the butt by black boots. We actually hire people for that. Okay, let's look this up. If I can give you a little bit more information on it. Um, page 21 here. It's nice. I get this little kit. Uh, the selection came with a little book, which is kind of nice. And what does it say about this? Here we go. It was established in 1861, and the same guy is running it. In the same family, as usual, excuse me. Style of beer is Pilsner. Um, the ingredients are, as usual, water, malt, hops. I don't know. Uh, of course, the water is brewing water. I don't know. Um... They're putting in wheat and malt, but of course all malt comes from wheat, and hops. That's it. That's all that's in there. So they say it's 4.9 alcohol. They say it's golden yellow. Um, I don't know if I'd call this yellow. This is good. gets into the... Um, it says that it's fine poured, like your pour of a skin, and creamy. Huh? The I guess the foam is. Uh, fresh aromatic hops. Sparkling with fresh aromatic hops, and it says bitterness. Well, there's no bitter to this at all. This is a nice, um, so I don't know where that comes from, but of course, you know, being translated and the fact that, uh, you know, German translations are all done by uh, non-native speakers, so they really don't have any idea what they're talking about. Well, there's certainly has what a Pilsner always has. Good hop flavor. And this has it as well. So this is a pretty good beer. It has a slight bitter aftertaste, maybe a little more than most, but it's not really bitter like you get with the lagers in Germany almost entirely. I'm almost entirely bitter and um, generally bad. Like everything else, there's a few good ones, but Anything that's bitter, burny, etc., means you've got poor quality. Now, whether Daddy Dragon and you like it, nobody cares. Shut up and sit down. Okay, but uh, we'll have a little bit more of this. Let me, as I said, it takes a while to let all your taste buds um, taste this. So yeah, you know, as usual, you know, they say 100%, um, is that 100%? 100% aroma hopsen. So, um, so they're using really good uh, aromatic hops, and that's what a beer is all about. Hops is beer. If it doesn't taste good, it's because the hops are bad. And hops vary from region to region. Apparently, it's the Pilsner process. And the hops from uh, what is now called the Czech Republic uh, that make such good beer. And they've always made good beer and because they've always had this hops. But also, the Pilsner process, which makes beer less bitter and more flavorful, uh, excuse me, is what uh, really is the key to all this. And this certainly is a good tasting beer and I would give this on a scale of 1 to 10 I'd give this an 8. It's a good beer it's got a really nice flavor 
and I would think anybody would like this, and it has a slight bitterness to it, as pretty much all beer does, uh, but not that horrible bitterness that a bad beer is. So I'm sure you would enjoy it. So on with my travels as we move on to the next exciting visit to another bottle of beer.